Good morning. Hold it now. <clears throat> I'm a little froggy this morning. <laughs> Good I morning, apologize. everybody. Yes, we're here at Works of Wyoming, downtown Laramie, 300 South 2nd. It's a beautiful morning. Cold, though, rarely cold. <laughs> below zero. It was seven below when I got up this morning, and burr. It was burr. The snow was crunching. It sounded like I was walking in a bowl of cornflakes. yeah. But at least the sun's shining, and the flag is hanging straight down. Yes. So, which is an anomaly here in Wyoming. Yes, yes. That wind can get quite hectic. Yes. We're going to do unbox Crystal Lawrence today. Yep, she's brought us in some new items, some beautiful hand-painted silk scarves and some new cards. So why don't we start with the yes. cards today? Oh, and I'm Jackie and this is Lorena. Lorena, yes, we're yeah. the wow gals. gals. Yes, yes. <laughs> I think the cold has affected us yes, this morning. I know. But so you going to start those? Yeah, I'll go okay. ahead and start. So Crystal is a fiber artist and she loves to do hand embellished cards. So this is one that she has um, used some linen on the back. She has embroidered it yes. and hand stitched it. And the lamb has a little bit of felted wool in it. They are blank inside and come with an envelope. And these are originals, so there's only one of each of these. Well, they yes. may be similar, they're each individually made. Yes. And these are $10 a piece. Very nice. So, and this one is just the lamb. Uh huh. Rainbow and the lamb. Rainbow and the lamb. You want to do the next oh, one? I have a buffalo. <laughs> I love it. Yeah. Uh, the stitching on this is incredible. Um, I, I don't know if you can see, but she has a little stitching back here, and then it's different up here, and then there's grass. So I have some sunflowers of hers, and I got three of them, and I framed them. Uh -huh. And they turned out really nice. That They were the hand-stitched sunflowers. I would say <coughs> Probably yeah. about half of our cards that go out of here end up being and framed, framed yes. for many, many pictures yes, on the wall. Yes. They're all that quality of um, work, photography or artwork. Yes. So I have another little lamb. And again, it's embellished and on a embroidered um, background, the little red flowers are the Indian paintbrush, which is Wyoming's state flower yes and again this would go actually with the little rainbow lamb yeah it would i mean you wouldn't those be pretty in a in a baby's room yes or you could sewing do room? like little square shadow boxes with them yeah in a baby's room that would uh -huh. really be cute the little rainbow and then yep. the indian paintbrush yep. and again all these fiber cards are ten dollars each and here's another little lamb with purple flowers so you could do all three you could have a triptych um, it's ten dollars, and it's got little purple flowers at the bottom. You can see, and the lamb is up above. It's a little lighter in color, but uh, you could do, I say, all three of them, and that would be really cute. Let me show them all three yeah. to, together here. Yeah. Are we in the screen? We could do one down below, and uh -huh. yeah, and like that, or you could do them side by side in the triptych. So yes. Yeah, very cute. Yes. So the last fiber one that oh, we have. Oh, there's a sunflower. I don't have that one. Well, this one may be gone, <laughs> folks, before you guys get a chance to get down here. Jackie likes the sunflower. She's I a love, Kansas girl. I was born in Kansas, and I used to watch the sunflowers shift all day long. They start out in the morning where the sun is in the east. They and follow by, the sun? Yeah, and by evening they're over in the west, and it's really cool to watch. I lived a couple of years in Kansas, but I remember the black-eyed Susans oh, more than the actual sunflowers. I've seen long, whole fields of sunflowers. Flowers? Yeah. So again, this is hand-dyed linen on the background, yes. hand-embellished, and she has totally filled in the centers of these flowers with hand-stitching, and then down here on this bottom one is a little ladybug. Yes. She likes to put sometimes little butterflies. Sometimes they're hand stitched and sometimes she finds little embellishments that she puts in there. But isn't that cute? And again, the cards all come uh, blank in sight for your own personal message and with an envelope. Yes. And now we've got some photography we've ones. We've got some photograph ones. This one is the Yellowstone National Park. Um, I lived in Wyoming for 50 years, and actually it was 46 years when I finally went and saw Yellowstone. 
and it never occurred to me the reason they named it Yellowstone is because the rocks are yellow up there. It, really? Yeah. I they're, didn't know that. Yeah, Yellowstone is named because of all the yellow rocks. When you go to the waterfall, the big waterfall you see in all the pictures, mm -hmm. the whole sides are just yellow. Oh, I don't remember are. that. Yeah. yeah, and so that's why Yellowstone is called Yellowstone. And we have three of these cards available at the moment, and they're two fifty a piece. These uh -huh. are all the same oh, okay. here. Okay, you you want to go next? Sure, I'll go next. Okay. So we have three of these, and this is up at Vita Vu um, State Park. So the iconic um, rock formations up there. A lot of people hike up there. Um, they're cross country skiing. They bike up there. They climb up there. Yeah. Um, and again, these are two fifty each, and we have three of these. I did some repelling with my son. We did just a little rock and scared me out to oh. death going down the side. You couldn't pay me to go yeah. down the side. I, well, I went once, and that was good for me. Yeah. I was like, okay. So, yeah, we went down like something, like one of these rocks like this. And, yes, Not it was me. very scary. Um, Vitavu is was named by the Indians. And it means magical or mystical rocks because they're stacked on top of each other. Little boulders on big boulders and big boulders on little boulders. <laughs> yeah. And there's three hills of these rocks. And so this is, uh, uh, I want, no, it's not turtle rock. It's, I think it's old man, but yes, it, and it's really pretty. And there are four of these cards available. So once again, photo, photo quality can be framed. Okay, and Crystal also does beautiful silk scarves. And in case you haven't figured out, Indian Paintbrush is one of our top sellers. Yes, yes. Not only is it a beautiful flower, although it is considered a parasitic flower, yes. it will take over everything. Um, and then her backgrounds, the blues and the greens that she's been doing are just beautiful. Um, and this one is $35. It is silk, and you hand wash and line dry it. So a beautiful scarf to wear, or it could be like a table runner or on your dining room yes, table. Yes, um, On top of a buffet, it would look beautiful also. Yes. So she's given us several different sizes and color combinations. And I, just a little tip, trivia, there are like 13 varieties of the Indian paintbrush in colors. You don't see some of the other colors because they're not as vibrant. But there's purples and blues and variations mm -hmm. of red, fuchsia and, and orange, and then the brilliant red. And so there's quite a few colors of the Indian paintbrush. And they don't seem to last very long when they do bloom, but no. boy, are the mountainsides oh, beautiful. Are they? They're so vivid. When they do bloom. I have a scarf with... Grasses with what grasses oh grasses She's been doing just grasses yeah and it, i don't know if you can see the grass it oh yeah you can see mm -hmm. the little green grass against the blue background like a sky background and this scarf is 35 dollars and i would say it's about six by uh 48 inches and it's a silk one too cause... and it's silk as well and they're so soft against your skin so very nice and silk is actually very warm too, it is it that. is silk is really sturdy material even though it's thin and stuff it's actually very very strong because the silkworms okay make it so tightly woven yeah tightly okay. woven so this is a new style for crystal this is a hundred percent cotton and it's a, a circular scarf oh so it's uh, one of those infinity scarf okay I was trying to think of the name, yeah, so it's thank an you. Infinity scarf. So it's one that oh, you can wear nice. or twist in it, and it, wear. Yeah. And it, whoops, if I get it over here where you oh, can see what I'm doing. I have that too. <laughs> Got to beware of Jackie. She's yes. one of our best customers. I can't help it. There's such nice stuff down here that I, I just see it and got to have it. Well, we do strive for good quality. Yes, we yes. jury all of our artists. Yes. Um, they have to go through a jury board, so we maintain the the quality oh, yeah. of the artwork in the store, but also the variety. Yes. We have so many customers come in and say that we have a tremendous variety, variety to yes. choose from. Yes. And again, she has hand dyed this background. It's kind of a, 
a blue and the white yes. um, variegated, and then with the Indian paintbrush. And again, it's an infinity scarf. Yes. With Indian paintbrush, Wyoming state flower on it. Aha. And we have another. And it's $45. I think this is the new one. Oh, okay. That was what I did. All right. I was trying to get them out of the way. All right. <laughs> All right. Oh, I have. I bet this is rayon. I think it yep, is. Yep, it is. One. This one's out of rayon with the Indian paintbrush on the back. And it's uh, quite a bit wider. I would say it's. Uh, 10 inches at least. Um, I don't know if there I have to hold it up. It's wider and mm -hmm. I would say still 48 inches. But Compared. it's got, yeah, it's got the three Indian paintbrush at the bottom. And then going up, there's other paintbrush. So really beautiful work here. Yeah, she varies the yeah. Indian paintbrush. And I love placement. the rayon too. It is so, it wears, and rayon is just as sturdy as silk. Is it? Yes. It's got a different okay. texture. It's very nice. <clears throat> So something new that we're trying that Crystal, because she's an animal lover, and they have a dog. Her husband Alberto is a sheep herder. Yes. Out with hundreds of sheep, him, yep. sheep, him and his faithful yep. dog Roni. Yep. And Roni's a border collie, but she gets a little cold when the wind's blowing. So well, she has so a do dog coat. <laughs> yes. Yeah. So Crystal decided we should try some dog oh, coats in yes. here, and we agonized over what design and so we thought well the indian paintbrush is a wyoming yep. state flower so here we have a doggy coat with the indian paintbrush um she's hand painted it's a cotton kind almost a canvas Ca yeah canvas. linen and <clears throat> then it is uh the back is felt so it's nice and warm she's hand stitched all of it we've got three sizes small medium and large and this is the small for $10, and, and it's got little Velcro um, tabs. To hold them on. Yeah, so this would be how the dog would look from the, the side here. Yeah, and this is the medium one I have. Mm -hmm. and, and the then, medium one is 15 so not really nice price range here. Yes. Um, yes. She's uh, very for, reasonable. Yeah, for a, a doggy coat. Because I've seen them for much, much more. So I'll hold this one okay, up. So, and, and that then, should be the large one. Yes, and this is the large one. So I would say this would be for, for 80 to 100 pounds. The other one, 40 to 60, and then uh, 10 to 30 on the this last one. This would be one. like a dachshund or a, yeah. a poodle, small poodle. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and this one is $20 on the large one. So 10, 20, 15, and 20, 20 yep. for small, medium, mm -hmm. and, large. and large. Yes. Okay, and so those are the newest items that yes. Crystal's been busy with yes. since Christmas. she's been really busy. Yes, she and has. And I heard that she's getting ready to plant her little seedlings oh in, my her, in her little <laughs> indoor <laughs> greenhouse, she told me yesterday, and I was like, whoa, you think spring's coming? You, know, you just never know around <laughs> here when spring's going to be. It's usually late June, so. Yeah, well, I couldn't figure out why... In Wyoming, they send the seed catalogs out in March. It's like, we've still got winter for yeah, three months. Yeah, I know. But she uses the greenhouse, and yeah. she's over 70. So not only does she do all this beautiful handwork, but she's a prolific gardener. Yes. Squash, tomatoes. Choke she's, cherries. She sells yeah. tomato plants. She yeah. sells tomatoes. She yeah. gives them away. She, Yep. She's got yeah, every zucchini, best. summer squash. She cans yeah. it all. Yeah. Yes. She is amazing. She is. So. so we get our artwork while we can before canning season yes. happens because it goes on pause until yes. then. Yes. So, well, thank you so much. Um, you can find us at www.worksofwyoming.com and there's more on the, the website. So, Please join us there. And we also have live shopping on Wednesday night from 6 to 7. So it's lots of fun. you got to come see us. And that's mountain time because yes, we're hoping some time. of you are joining us from the different coast. Yes. So you can also call us. It's 307-460-3304. And our email is wow, W-O-W, at uwyo.edu for education. That's why they call us the Wow Gals. Gals, yes. yes. So, yep. We've also been called the Wow Twins. Yes, <laughs> yes. So, yep. Every once in a while, we're a bit technology uh, compromised. Challenge. Challenged. Yes. <laughs> yes. Yeah.
So. Okay, well, you guys have a great day. We hope to see you. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.